Once again, Mayor Rushmore is dead. Police are not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Bloom Director of Public Relations, Charlotte Gardner, has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. In a world where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities, have safer, healthier homes and cities, Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Up next, an interview with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda Mendez is with us. Dr. Mendez, your story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family, his sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? He isn't like someone playing poker. This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience. A study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Dead sick has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. While a statement from the Commissioner's Office acknowledges the recent decline in criminal activity, the vigilante known as the Fox is only given the slightest praise for his crime-fighting efforts. An anonymous source told our reporters that members of the police department are more enthusiastic about the vigilante than they are allowed to publicly disclose. With Chicago still reeling from the shocking revelations of Rose Washington's murder and Mayor Rushmore's subsequent death, there has been little appetite for politics or elections. One name that's been floated about is Bloom's VP of Communications, Charlotte Gardner. Her supporters insist Ms. Gardner will restore integrity and trust to a city that sorely needs it. City officials are picking up the pieces from the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While CTOS is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. I'm bleeding here. You? I'm holding up. I got one last bone for you to chase. Maurice finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but 
I don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed? Who deserves to die? Who decides that? Some loose ends. <laughs>